Ahoy there, I'm Tiny Pirate, and welcome back to Colony Survival. In the last episode, I promised to make some kind of uh, Mott and Bailey. Well, at least the Bailey part. Now, the Bailey is a wall that goes around a, a castle, the, the Mott, and at least I think that's how it works. <laughs> I've forgotten which way it is. What I want to do is kind of simulate a sort of a low uh, wall on top of a kind of a, a earth mount with a ditch. So this is what I'm thinking. Something like this. So this part can be the ditch. Um, no, that'll be kind of like the ditch. And then what I'll do is drop... Um, do I have a bit of dirt? I'll switch out for some dirt because it's helpful. Uh, dirty dirt. Uh, there it is. So then we would have like the dirt here. I don't have to do dirt, but I like the idea of being proper about it. And there's the other side of the hill. And then on top, um, get some of the old uh, planks. Kind of like a, a wall that's been uh, thrown up. Get them too high. And then we'll throw like a little... Whoop. Hang on, come here. Yeah, okay, so what do you think of that? Let's have a look. Oh, actually we've come out slightly a bit too far. It will need to be like this for the proper ditch effect. Um, hang on, one over, and like that. So there you go, that, that can be a kind of a, a, a ditch with the palisades here. There won't be any defenses immediately behind the palisades. I'll have to build like little corner watchtowers. And that, that feels about right. Or maybe I'll put up like a little, um, I don't know, some, uh, I could do some, that uh, feels a bit naff. I could do some kind of like, uh, that looks a bit, uh, I'm not too big a fan of that. I might throw actual watchtowers up rather than, um, some kind of half done little walkway thing. Mm, yeah, we'll see how we go. So I need to give that a go. That's going to take me quite a while. So I'm going to crack on with that. And what I'll probably do actually is I'll probably connect the back wall up to the side here. So immediately I'll have to take this one down a bit to be able to pull that one uh, that job off. But that's okay. So that's going to take me a little while. I'll be back with you in a second. Now, I just want to show you progress so far. Look, I've got the Bailey Wall going all the way around here. It comes up this little gentle hill. It encloses the mine, which is very great. It encloses all the farms. And then it comes zooming along here. Got a little what goes for a hill around these parts here. There's a nice little corner here that I'm thinking of putting like a little watchtower on. Just run through your fields. Get out of the way, peasants. Got a few guards hanging around out front here because this is the part that isn't yet enclosed. I will have to put in a gatehouse. I'm thinking of putting it there. I'm not quite sure how I'll run that just yet. I might do a little bit of an experiment. But for now, what I need to do is throw in a uh, bunch of sort of wooden palisade walls, which, um, which I think should look pretty good when it's done and will give us a lot of freedom to uh, build inside the space, even at night without being harassed by the zombies. Because what I want to do next is throw up some uh, more buildings. I want to throw up a couple of farmhouses. Hopefully the nearby peasants will live in them. And I want to throw in uh, sort of a workhouse inside the, inside the sort of little castle keep we've got. Because inside there I want to put um, all, the, all the working stuff that we're going to need to keep this place running. So that should be that should be quite a good bit of work. And I think it'll look quite nice in the end. Night is coming and look, the wall is looking very fine indeed. I've left a little gap here because we're gonna have to leave some kind of gap so the zombies can get in. Look, they're all here already. And uh, I hmm. I feel like I might move these guys a little closer to their buddies. Um just to kind of uh help thin out the zombie crowds when they come. There's a few up there on the walls which will help, but there's going to be quite a lot of them, which is a bit of a concern. What I will do, however, is set up the gate. And I sort of feel that maybe um, there should be like a, a, well, maybe like a little road or something out of uh, dirt. 
I can sort of do it maybe three wide. I don't know if I'll run it all the way in. I have now, in addition to dirt, I have Adobe, which is dirt for rich people. Uh, and I guess that that's a, like a dirt made with like linseed. Maybe that'll look quite nice. I don't know why it's made with linseed oil. It's just kind of baked dirt. I'm sort of thinking that looks uh, maybe too fancy for a road. Might check again in daytime. I do quite like the idea of running a, a sort of a road out. Let's have a look under the light here. Oh, that's what we're going to need, isn't it? We should really put some lights in the actual entranceway itself. That's, that seems sensible. Um, one there and one there. I don't know. I reckon that looks quite nice. Looks, looks all right to me. Uh, yeah, I'm going to crack on and sort out this road while it's night time. Hopefully the zombies don't overwhelm all of the people out front. Uh, if they do, I'm going to be a, a, a little bit sad. Because I wouldn't mind getting this part done at the night time. Nice and safe in here. Daytime has come. The peasants are filing out. And they've got quite a walk. Really, don't they? They've got quite a walk to their farm. So we're going to have to sort that out. I did run out of Adobe in the middle of the night. Uh, so our road is a little short right now. But I am in a good place now to crack open this entrance area. Um, and just to kind of... I'm thinking what I will do is I'll probably uh, I, I feel like maybe from here it should just be kind of dirt maybe that would be kind of sensible um let me have a look i need to get out the old dirt blocks um dirty dirt there you go okay so we have uh three wide dirt all the way here and maybe planks over the actual or logs the logs look a little odd i must admit maybe coated planks and they will be fine the, the the actual logs look a lot like dirt um like that and i might make this down actually I'll make this down here a little bit more um moat like in this particular spot so we'll go back a couple of three on each side. Um, three. There we go. I think that will be quite pleasant. It need to come in one as well. Planks don't just hang out over the air, do they? Draw bridges. Even if this is not exactly a drawbridge. Um, I think we'll just tuck it in here as well. Let's have a look at that. Well, that looks that looks quite fine. I'm quite I'm quite pleased with that entrance here through the uh, main gates, the kind of farming and town, I suppose you could say. Um, do we have any? We have six adobe. <laughs> they're making more, but they're not making it very fast. Then you come through here. Um, all of you guys, I'm going to have to move all of you. So let me just realign you um I'm, i don't want you all to go away totally i'm just gonna have you sit like this on each side of the road uh, and you get out of that spot um and we're gonna need some more bows to pull this off aren't we um like that so that is quite good bows we need planks uh what is that sand oh okay Sand, fine. Doesn't mix well with snakes. Is that a sand snakes joke, is it? Is that a Game of Thrones pun? I think we've got enough bows now. Okay, that's cool. What I think we should have here, though... What? No unemployed... Take... To take remaining job. Oh, okay, that's fine. We're going to have to recruit one. So what I think I should do here is... Possibly throw up some kind of wooden... Um, kind of structure here with like a little overlooking overhang to, to watch the front. Um, could get a bit carried away. Uh, one, two, three. I don't want to get too carried away. Uh, something that goes up here um, that has some kind of uh, ladder system. Um, 
Like this, maybe. Not like that. Not, not that high, maybe. Uh, I think this could do the trick. So a little platform up here that kind of looks out over the front. Um, it's got a little stairway up. Hmm. It's not pretty. I'll give you that. It, it sort of is what I'm looking for. It, it has that functionality that I want, which is a kind of a walkway near the near the walls. But it'd be a little better if I gave it a little, I don't know, a little overhang. That might look a little nicer, I think. Yeah, and then and then sort of up here like this, take these down, put them right at the edge for maximum shooting power. Um, something like that. We might want to give them... Oh, we're going to need to put some torches up, I suspect. One there and one there. Um, hmm. I'm sort of okay with it. I'm broadly okay with it. It's not too bad, I think. And... We could put that one I was thinking of uh, over in this corner as well. But I think realistically for now, I'm just going to leave it at one watchtower and these front guards. That's all they really need. And what we need to do now really is um, see if I can finish off any of this adobe. Adobe, adobe I don't know how to say it. Uh, right, there we go. Um, stick that one in there and run this wall down. And then we need to go and enhance our workhouse for our peasants. There we go. That looks quite fine. I'm okay with that. Now this house here, I've, I've made a few little starts on fixing it here. I've got some logs in and then I've got planks because I thought maybe the upper story would be like kind of wood. So this is a sort of peasants dormitory. And so we're going to crack on and put, let's have a look, wood all the way around and make a decent sort of sized uh, second floor on this so we can get the peasants to live in here. At least some of them. Some of them are going to need to go be farmers and that's okay. The rest of them, however, should stay inside this nice big... All the tradesmen basically should stay in this dormitory. So I'm just putting on the straw roof now. I want it to hang out a little bit over the sides and to then... I've got to be careful I don't back up the edge of the roof so I'll put a block there I wanted to hang it a little bit off over the sides and then it'll go up one to kind of make it slightly pitched which I think will look uh, quite nice it's going to be quite a substantial building when we're done but considering many many peasants are going to live in it that doesn't seem so extreme got the outer ring of straw done and now it's just a matter of uh, filling in the flat part of the roof here and then to go down and put some lights in um, I wish there was a slightly quicker way of doing this but it doesn't really seem to be just have to slug away at it and maybe maybe after that I'll add one little bit more to a pitched kind of roof but I'm not sure we'll see oh, this isn't too bad way of doing it except for those bits that go wrong well the roof is done I'll show you it in a second. And I have got the second floor in. Um, I've replaced this little dark brown kind of band around here of wood. I've replaced that because it made the first floor look really low and the second floor look really high. And, and that just came across as a bit odd. So this is the second floor now, complete with the wonderful straw roof. Um, this was a walkway to the top, which we won't need. So I'll get rid of that. And we need a few more torches, I think. I can hear the archers out there busy or already. I might throw in a... wouldn't mind being able to see them a little bit from here. And maybe another couple of windows just a bit further along. So two squares over this way. Uh, yeah, that looks quite nice. Maybe uh, one here and uh, one over here as well. So uh, there and there. So that... That's a good bedroom, I think. And what I will do is put down another couple of beds so I'm ready for the great placement game that must soon begin. Um, <laughs> come here. We'll do them just like this. Uh, get them nice and snug in these huge beds. 
and fit some more in. Yeah. You guys get a nice bedside view, a window side view there. That's plenty. Okay, let's go down and check. This is looking okay to me now. Don't mind it at all. Might chuck in a back wall here as well. So we can look out over the lake where all the undead like to swim. So, downstairs here. Tons of beds and tons of workshop stuff that we really should move. So I want to move it into the courtyard. Meanwhile, <laughs> the zombies are very much enjoying our front yard. We have three unemployed, so I think it's time to recruit for them. And there'll be two guards that'll go up there to help thin out the bad guys. Meanwhile, you guys having a good time here? Just partying? Yeah, you're fine, aren't you? So I want to crack on and get the next building done, which I'm thinking is going to sit here and there's going to be some kind of work shed. Uh, what I want to do is replace the stone or replace the ground with stone because it's going to be a place with lots of furnaces. And so it makes sense to me that they should have, um, you know, they should have a ground floor of stone. So it needs to be reasonably big for the number of workshops we've got running right now. Back to here. That seems okay. And maybe one over. I think we can come forward and across a little bit more. And that'll give us a really good space for a ton of bakeries and furnaces and goldsmiths and what have you. Um, how's that looking? Not too shabby at all. I'm going to crack on and uh, let me see. Put some stone down and then work through the other tasks that we have, which is to get some walls up. Get in there. So this is going to be our trades hall. It's got a little bit of a grass roof on it. I think it's looking okay inside it. Oh, I don't know. Sort of, sort of fine. I'll just fill in the inner, inner straw here. I think we could probably do with a, a couple of torches on the outside. Uh, maybe a couple, well, I don't know, one or two on the inside there seems fine. And now what we need to do is lay out all of our potential tool spaces. So we're going to need crates. Um, what else are we going to need if I put these away and those away and those away? Pick up some stone, uh, some wood and some planks. Yeah, there we go. I definitely need a couple of mills. Um, put those there. Probably three. I need a couple of three furnaces. A couple of three workbenches. Alright, so let's slap these down. So the mills. We're going to stick you there. Uh, furnaces. Uh, we'll stick you over here. These uh, stoves, sorry. Um, what else have we got here? A furnace. I'm actually thinking of putting the furnaces outside. I just need to clear some space for that. And I'll talk about that why in a second. So where's some of our dirt? Um, not that. Uh, well, we'll use... Uh, uh, okay, we'll use that one. Okay, put that down. Uh, so we're going to fill it, put in some uh, adobe here. Put in some dirt because this is going to be like the out, uh, outside furnace area. Because furnacing is dangerous, right? So we don't want anyone getting burned. Very important. Otherwise, we'll have a very bad time. Furnaces. And I'll fill in the rest of the adobe there. And we're going to need to put it in a box. Well, boxes that are very handy for everyone. So I'm thinking... Uh, basically... Oh, maybe get rid of that one. Basically in the middle of the room here. I want these workbenches for uh, sort of those activities, workbench activities, uh, which we're going to need to do some more of because we're getting a bit low on some of these things, on, on some of the resources in particular, I think. Um, the other one I want was, so we need gold coin, or we need gold. Um, put that there. Where is it? Uh, needs five. Go oh, okay. I uh, needs iron ingot. Iron ingot. Okay. Right. Couple of those. Put them in. Smash together some coins. Um. Another one of those. I think we can do. Th I think that'll be okay. So I'm going to take out some of these in here. So 
don't need these furnaces. Don't need these stoves. Uh, don't need these coin presses. Mill down, box, box. General goods, another one of those furnaces. Ugh, I can fit more beds in here after that, which would be great. That and that. So, let me just check how that's going to look. Um, I think that will be okay. One unemployed. That's probably because I put down one extra of something. So I'll recruit a colonist. I suspect I've got one extra mill. So what you have to do now, since they're just recent patches, you have to take uh, your your uh, gathered um, wheat and turn it into flour, which then gets baked into bread. So now that I've got three stoves, three mills, should be good. There, crafts bench. And that looks like I've got everything I could want. All crack, cranked up, which is important. The shop is still there for people to come in and purchase their flax, which they do sometimes. And now it's time to kind of clear out out here. Make a little uh, space for the furnace guys to work without being interrupted. And also for lower fire risk, right? Very important. We don't want to burn down the town by having a, a furnace go out of control. I know that's not exactly likely, but I like to think it matters. So a nice pressed dirt floor in the open air. Furnace workers nice and safe. And the town nice and safe. I could give them some kind of awning, but I'm not sure it would look... I'm not sure it would look that kind of great. Hmm. Hmm. It would... Oh. Would it be good? I could throw some straw out to it. See how that looks. Ah, oh, that doesn't look too bad. I know straw is not exactly the non-flammable material we dream of, but on the other hand, the other planks and whatnot, I don't think they look super awesome for this kind of job. So I think this will be just fine. And we will put a, a torch up here. Torch up here. And yeah, outside furnace looks good. The little workshop looks fine. People can come in and do their jobs. Got lots of accessible crates, which will be handy. Meanwhile, I think we might want to go lend a hand with the zombie defense. See how they're looking. Um, guys, I, I only need one bow. I don't need seven. I don't think it helps. Can't fire seven arrows. Um, let's check how close the zombie's getting. Oh, wow. There's quite a few of them. Are they trying to climb up to get our guards? I just want to see. I'm going to leave him alone. Wait, wait, are you just chasing me now, guys? If I run up here... Well, just keep keep away. If I run up here, I could probably put at least another quiver down. Which might uh, keep our chaps a bit safer. At the Yeah, here we go. That, that was a bit unsafe, to be perfectly frank. Uh, where is my quivers? There they are. Um, if you're facing that way, then, yeah, you should be able to shoot that way. That'll be good. And, uh, you, another one there. So, one, two, recruited colonists, and everybody's working. Well, I think this is looking pretty blimmin' good right now, I must admit. Our drawbridge, our long wall and, and sort of ditch there. Just have a little look around here from the corner. All the way around, as you can see. Has a little dog leg here. Perfect zombie defense. And through to a little watchtower. Right at the front. And then into the, the full castle experience. Which is definitely going to hold off any zombie for quite a while with this many guards. Farmers are filing out. Really the next job for them is to throw down perhaps a little hut for them to live in. So they don't have to walk so far. They can get working sooner then. I'm pretty sure they will reassign their beds if they if they need to if they find a closer one. And these guys, what are they? What are they? What are they doing? Oh, I see. They're all. Oh, you guys need a box, of course. What was I thinking? Your foolish master doesn't know what he's doing. Chuck in a box for all of you. Let's do it like that. There you go. Handy. You just have to turn around. It's right there. Or oh, you could just walk around, I suppose. That's fine as well. Maybe I'll take that one out. There we go. So they're busy working. 
these guys are all working hard in here making bread uh all kinds of other exciting products nice and our guards are guarding brilliantly and this guy will be a lumberjack i think carrying wood around do you actually have a box out here mr lumberjack i suspect not because i suspect i've kind of been a bit silly um I'll give you one there there we go that'll save you a lot of hassle I should, of course, uh, finally patch up this jolly hole here. And then our fortress will basically be complete. Uh, where are we? Um, uh, where, uh, done. Well, I think that's looking pretty good. Tell me what you think. Do you like it? Have we done a good job here? Is there anything else that this place needs? I think it's looking pretty pretty jolly fantastic with its, with its curtain wall and all this sort of space inside. And then I, I really like our little fortifications here. And this sort of living room up here, looking all right too. Anyway, until next time, I've been Tiny Pirate. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed watching Colony Survival. I think it's quite an interesting game with a lot of potential. And I uh, hope you'll join me for future games. Until then, come say hello on Facebook and leave a comment. Love to hear from you. Good night.